Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm going to do a collection review of the latest Blanc Pan lineup. I've never owned a Blanc Pan, uh, but I know that it's a very luxurious brand, it's very expensive, it's uh, well renowned for the 50 Fathoms. That's the only watch I know from Blanc Pan. Uh, right off the bat, it's, it's in. It's in French. Oh, I've got to choose a language. Oh, Zianti Zhongwen. Oh, they don't have, have it in Chinese as well. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's go straight to it. The timepieces. Uh, Le Brasseur. I mean, Le Brasseur. Le Brasseur. I, I believe AP is also from Le Brasseur. Uh, let's take a look at. Let's go straight to the 50 Fathoms. Beautiful watch. I believe Blanc Pan is owned by the Swatch Group, and um, who also owns the Piguet, Frederick Piguet Movement Manufacturer. So I believe um, Frederick Piguet they make movements exclusively for Blanc Pan. Okay, the key models fifty fathoms. I think. Yeah, just just you know, this this is pretty nice. Great watch. Very good, very beautiful. Uh, case size. Oh, forty-five millimeter. Wow, all these manufacturers—they're still into. They're still into the large watches, huh? If you look like if you look at Rolex, right? I, Rolex only has the deep sea sea dweller, which is, I think it's forty four, but they've really done their best to. They've done well to maintain the size at forty for, the, for the other models. Mm, okay, what does this mean? Those variants? Oh, variants. Is there a different variant right here? No, no difference. Okay, one-way rotating bezel, all right. Okay, yeah, it's all right. Would I rather have this or a Submariner? I don't know, probably have a Submariner. It doesn't really, doesn't really tell you the price. Uh, I guess if you, if you can't afford it, you won't ask anyway. Alright, okay. 50 Fathoms. Oh, I think there was another model, 50 Fathoms. Um, this one looks alright. 500 Fathoms GMT. Well, it also has a helium escape valve. Limited edition of 500 pieces. Okay, there. 48 millimeter. What is going on? Decompression valve, helium escape valve. Did they just pick this up from the Seamaster? What is going on? One way rotating bezel, water resistance 100 bar, which is what? A thousand meters. Okay, okay. No. I, I would never buy this. Yeah, I would check a second time zone while I'm down a thousand meters, right? Poorly executed. The numerals are 12, 6, and 9. Do they have to be so big? I mean, look at the date right there. It's just so squished up. You can barely see the 3 uh, for the 31. It's It's just... You know, it's just like a dial, and then they slap the dial on top of a dial. I have to say, this is this is not very inspiring. It's no, don't buy that. Um, okay, you have this one, the Bathy Bathy scarf, Bathy scarf, forty-three millimeter. Okay, that's a it's a more wearable size. Uh, case, 
or a 30 bar, yeah, that's all you need. Strap bracelet, it only comes a needle. Ah, okay, let's make a pass. How, how is this brand still alive, you know? Like, who buys, who buys into Blanc Pen? 55 millimeter watch, <laughs> 55.65. Ah, my goodness, what are you just gonna? Okay, I, I don't know what to say. I'm not gonna say anything, I'm just gonna pass. Let's look at something else. Uh, collections, hmm. All right, let's take it to uh, Le Mans. A blend of elegance of action. Oh, okay. A tough, dynamic look for energetic people. Oh, sounds like me, sounds like me. I want to buy one. Hey, okay. Right, it's... Okay, it's a second time zone. And... Uh, not one of the two crowns. I don't know what the crowns are for. Sorry, guys. They the just doesn't do it for me. And I know they are extremely expensive. Revile, revile GMT. Hmm. Three crowns? What, what do you need three crowns for? Are you... No. Sorry, it just... It just won't cut it. It's, um... I haven't seen... I haven't seen a watch that I, that I really like, or... Oh, you are not authorized to access this page. Are you serious? You won't let me... Okay. The only one which looks kind of semi-decent, you... Restrict my access. Okay, this one's not bad. Flyback chronograph, grand date. That's all right. That's uh, that's that's pretty nice. It's okay. I guess it really comes down to the well, case diameter, forty millimeter. You know what? I I like this watch. It's gonna be expensive as hell, but. But uh, so far, this is the only one which, uh, which kind of, kind of, um, kind of flows, right? And I don't like the word flyback over there. I don't know. Do you need to let everybody know it's flyback? I mean, if you know it's a flyback, it's good enough, right? No one, you know, even even people who are kind of into watches, they may not know what a flyback is. So. Points of sale, all right, and that's it. 55, okay, what's this, V-Ray? V-Ray. Um, Blompin's most classic collection. Return to authentic values or traditional watchmaking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Ultra Plate. Ah, why is the date so small? What's the size of this? 40 millimeter. It's a dress watch, but... No. This is not... What about case is this? Steel. Sapphire case back. Sorry, man. This is not very good. I'd very much rather have uh, master control. And I'm quite sure it would be a lot cheaper, a lot more affordable than, than these ones. Okay. Squillet. Wheat Jew. Eight day. What is it? Eight day power reserve or something? Uh, okay. 38 millimeter, yes. Power reserve in hours, 192. Yeah, eight day. That's eight days right there. Yeah, it's a cool watch, but 
you know, <laughs> cost you an arm and a leg. If I guess you're into skeleton watches, yeah, it's quite nice, but it's not for, you know, it's not for, for, uh, for most of us, right? Mm, I guess these would be the perpetual calendars, eight day, sorry, it just, just doesn't, doesn't quite do it for me. Yeah. Nope, nope. So the only one that I've seen that I like so far is that chronograph, the flyback chronograph. All right, Le Brassou, Le Brassus, Le Brassou, I believe. Um, okay, but I mean, these are not meant for, these are not meant for you and I guys, you know. Revolution. Revolution, the avant-garde, the avant-garde watch, creative, innovative movements found on the latest technological advances and forceful, noble design. A lot of carbon fiber. I think it's kind of dated though. Carbon fiber is like early 2000s, right? Nope, sorry, doesn't do it. Uh, you've got an alarm watch, large date, double time zone. Do these two watches look the same? Alarm watch and... Is there even a difference between this and that? I don't get it. Okay. Oh, it's both. Ah, I see, I see, okay. It's a GMT and an alarm watch. Hmm. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, what's, what's going on? Oh, it's okay. I don't know. Probably costs so much. Yeah. Uh. Long pan collections, the brasso. Sorry guys, it just doesn't doesn't work for me. Long pan. Hot horology. No, so what? Is this is this in the same league as AP, uh, Vacheron and Patek? No, I don't think so. I wouldn't. I would not go for for these over. Heck, you know, I'd rather much go for a uh, Chagere Le Coutre. You know, those, those are great watches. This one, it just doesn't really cut it. Uh, no, nope, I would, I don't see myself ever buying into the brand or any of their watches, really. Right, 50 Fathoms, much rather have a Submariner, much rather have a, a even a Seamaster. No. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.